In this video, I'll walk through an example of finding a Taylor series that can be used to approximate a function near a given value. So this is our Taylor series. And the way it's expanded is the function evaluated at some given value a plus the first derivative of a function evaluated at that given value a and then multiplied by some x value minus the given value a. And now x will be very close to, to a. So a number in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood of a. Here we have uh, the second derivative of the function evaluated at a over 2 factorial. Now we're up to k equals 2. Here k equals 0. k equals 1. And 0 factorial is just 1. 0 factorial equals 1, that is. So and here, we are, here we are at 2. So this k factorial, 2 factorial, multiplied by x minus a to the second power. We're at k equals 2. And, and so on and so on. Uh, notice here, if I didn't say this, this is the second derivative because we're again at k equals 2. So the kth derivative, that's what this, these parentheses where you would see an exponent, but if you have it uh, on the function there, it doesn't mean to the k power, it means the kth derivative when it's in those parentheses there. And so on, it, it goes on forever because this is an infinite series as denoted right here. Now this is used to approximate this, this whole thing here. And this expansion is used to approximate uh, f of x when x is, is close to or in the neighborhood of some starting point a. Now, if a is 0, as we have in this example down here, that's the Maclaurin series. So the Maclaurin series is just a special case of the Taylor series, and that's when a equals 0, or when you want to use this series to approximate a function when, uh, when x is very close to 0. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, find the Taylor series about a equals 0 generated by f of x, the function f of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x. So that's, that's this. We're going to use all of this. So the function, let's just write this out. This function, first f of x is the natural log of 1 plus x. That's given to us. How about the first derivative? The first derivative of x is 1 over 1 plus x multiplied by 1. We're going to use the chain rule. So remember always to, to do the chain rule, but the derivative of 1 plus x is just 1. So we're keeping it easy here. The second derivative of that function is negative 1 over the quantity 1 plus x squared. And the third derivative of that function is positive 2 over 1 plus x to the third power. And if you're not following this so far, just remember that this can be written as 1 plus x to the 1 plus x to the negative 1. So it follows that the derivative of that would be exponent multiplied. So you have your negative 1 here. Um, and then times the big part of the function there, 1 plus x, and then decrease the exponent. So that would go down to negative 2, and that's why we have this uh, exponent of 2 here, because an exponent of negative 2 up here in the numerator means it's just an exponent of positive 2 when we put it down in the denominator. So that's, that's how we're taking the derivatives there. Now the fourth derivative, I'm going to use this notation of 4 in the parentheses. The fourth derivative of this function is going to be Right? This is an exponent of negative 3 when you have it up in the numerator. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then over 1 plus x 
decrease this. This was an exponent of negative 3, so decrease the, that to negative 4. So we have exponent of 4 in the denominator. Now with each one of these, we can and we should then evaluate at a equals 0. So we'll do that. f of 0, well that just equals 0. That's the natural log of 1 plus 0 and so natural log of 1 equals 0. And then let's run through the rest of these. The first derivative evaluated at 0 and we're doing all this because we're, we have to uh, find these here, right? So the uh, first derivative evaluated at 0 is equal to, let's just jump to it, it's equal to 1 and the second derivative evaluated at 0 equals negative 1 and the third derivative evaluated at 0 equals 2 and the fourth derivative of the function evaluated at 0 equals negative 6. Now if we throw all of this in, throw, that sounds so uh, haphazard, but let's let's put all of this in to this stuff. And let's do the, well, let's do what we have here. We've got the first five terms where where k is 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the first five terms. And what we get there, then, is that the natural log of 1 plus x can be approximated by, now I'm going to kind of run out of room here, so I'm going to continue this addition line over a couple of lines, but this, this equals 0 plus negative 1, not yet. I, I skipped ahead there. It's 0 plus 1 times x plus, now we're at k equals 2, negative 1 over 2 factorial, which is just 2. But I'll write it just to keep with the form. Over 2 factorial times x squared. Continuing on now, just to save, because I'm running out of room. Where k equals 3, I've got plus... 2 over 3 factorial times x to the third, because I've got, what I'm doing here is x minus 0, right? So it's just x, and then to that power, plus negative 6 over 4 factorial, when k is 4 now, times x to the fourth power. And what this all simplifies to then is x minus x squared over 2 plus x to the third over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4 and so on. It does go on and on. And what's happening here? Well, we're alternating. It's an alternating series. We've got positive and negative and positive and negative. So I'm going to write that out. I'm going to start with k equals 0. It's a power series is what this turns into. And uh, it's an infinite series. It goes to infinity. And then we've got negative 1 to the k power, right? k starts at 0. And we want this to be positive first. So negative 1 to the 0 power is a positive 1. And then times what? Well, we've got some, some fraction there, so some ratio. So I'm going to say x to some power. It looks like it's going to be to the k plus 1 power. So this is an exponent here, x to the k plus 1 over just k plus 1, some number. So here where k equals 0, we have x to the uh, 0 plus 1, x to the first power over 0 plus 1 over 1. So I'll just write that in. That's, that's what we have right there that, that matches that. So anyway, this is our Taylor series expansion. And then you could go on to say, well, what do we need? Maybe the first three terms, the first four terms, to get a decent approximation of this function when x is 
close to zero. So maybe the natural log of 1.1, .1, for example. And that is a little example of Taylor and specifically the Taylor, uh, McLaurin series.